Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and uh, wanted to real quick share something with you as well as I'll just touch on a few little news topics here uh, before I go on to making a video on Patreon this evening. But uh, this Sunday, starting at 1.30 p.m., uh, we will be doing a very small little mini conference. I know it's the last minute. Uh, Yana may also speak at this conference. Uh, right now, I think tentatively she is planning on doing that. Uh, I'll be speaking on a couple of different subjects. I'll be talking about a little bit on this issue about Planet X, and uh, I may even go a little bit into the Kennedy assassination. Uh, there's a lot of information that I am privy to on that, so I may, I may just depending on the situation, may share some of that with you guys. I think that you might find fascinating. In fact, I know there is being there. There is a meeting that they're trying to set up uh, with me regarding this. That's how serious some people have taken that information. Uh, but it's going to be over at the. I think this is actually the. Uh, yeah, Hilton Garden Inn in Orlando on uh, just off International Drive. I think that's the right location there. Um, 5877 American Way, Orlando, Florida 32819 is the address and this seems to be the picture of uh, the facility just so you'd know um, what it looks like here we do have limited seating though at this facility uh, we only have 50 seats available and so it will be um, i need to do this as a reservation now we're not charging for the event we will probably set up a little donation um, a way for you to be able to donate if you'd like to attend uh, mainly because of covering the costs for the facility that we're renting there. But we want to just be able to meet some of the people here from Orlando. And also, it's not we've never done this before, but we will be doing this as adults only, mainly because you can only seat 50 people. And, um, and, and we certainly appreciate children and things like that, but the limited amount of seating might make it very difficult uh, for us to do that, not to mention some of the information probably is really just not appropriate for younger minds uh, because of the stress and things we don't want to cause people to have on possibly some of the subjects we would be talking about. But again, that'll be this Sunday at 1.30 p.m. And in order to reserve um, your place there, write us at Israeli news live at gmail.com israeli news live at gmail.com and uh let us know that you would like to attend if it's yourself one other person whatever the case may be and so that we can tally up till we get to 50 and then we'll just have to cut it off i will email you back if your if your spot is confirmed to let you know that we still have space available and yes you can come uh, so just kind of watch for that email there. Uh, and, and two, we in the morning we're supposed to uh, go down and actually secure the facility. We've already gotten uh, tentatively the reservation made, so that should all work out. Uh, again, that's in Orlando, 5877 American Way, and uh, Orlando, Florida, at the Hilton Garden Inn there. They have a conference room that we're able to rent. Now, Let's quickly, and by the way, I'm going to be talking about uh, some very interesting things on Patreon later this evening. Uh, I was asked some questions, got a call this morning from uh, up in Washington wanting to get some input from me on a situation, a very bizarre situation that they are facing, uh, and a situation that has publicly been made known before, especially by Mexico. Uh, that's like in this case here where UFO actually was seen going down into the vent of a volcano. Um, now, it might seem a little odd that I would get asked a question about this, but they're searching for, uh, excuse me, searching for evidence from uh, ancient documents, things like that. So, oddly enough, there were some insights I was able to share with them. I'll probably share those with you guys tonight. I was given permission to, to speak about the subject. Uh, it has been a classified subject, but they are willing to allow that to be spoken about publicly, at least to some extent. Maybe not everything, but to some extent. And uh, probably in the meeting, I'll go into this even deeper because we'll be talking about Planet X uh, at the meeting at the conference here, the Kennedy assassination, uh, just some highlighted things. Just going to kind of just be more of a casual conference and share those things 
from from the heart there now one thing I did want to share with you though this was kind of interesting I got a email this uh, this morning from a good friend out of Israel uh, and that email was dealing with the situation going on in the on the ground there um, with Russia and Syria so the Russian and Syrian air forces conducted a joint patrol Syrian and Russian fighters aircrafts conducted a joint uh, air patrol along Syria's border, including in the Golan Heights area. This is according to information received from the Russian Defense, Min Defense, which added that the two allied air forces plan to make these patrols on a regular basis there. Let me just see if we can get anything over here on that uh, while we're talking about it. Um, uh, and, and this was something that was very alarming to the Israelis, is that the Russians are actually now conducting um, uh, joint patrols there on the border, even in the Golan there, Times of Israel also reporting this today, uh, about about that happening, um, well actually they reported on January 24th, so the air patrol, uh, which included fighter aircrafts, bombers and intelligence and command aircraft, flew uh, in an important strategic area for Israel, in the area of the ceasefire, line and an area from which the Israeli Air Force often attacked positions in the Syrian Golan where there is Hezbollah and Iranian militias. It seems that recently the Russian Air Force is increasing its level of activity in the region. Earlier this month, residents of the officials in the ranks of the Syrian rebels said Russian planes had bombed areas near the northwest Syria city of Idlib, the last stronghold controlled by opposition. So Russia certainly is stepping up. Uh, their their movements there, and I'd asked specifically about this, and I said um, in a response here, uh, uh, I mentioned that Russia was stepping up their presence there, but also wanted to get a little bit more of an idea of what uh, their thoughts were concerning uh, these um, uh, Russia and, and, and their participation with Russia, and what did they think the relationship of Russia and Syria is at this point. It says, I believe, the answer was, I believe that senior Israeli government officials do not like this cooperation. This creates a conflict of interest in dealing with the Russians, especially after the IDF uh, does everything it can to maintain its ability to continue operating in Syria without interfering with the Russian presence there. This news also has a global context. It could be that Russians because of the tense situation with uh, the West are currently trying to strengthen their relations with their allies and are willing to participate in such a pl public operation. It does seem like that, uh, the, the latter part of the letter there, strengthening their relationship with their allies, but also you have to remember one thing we had reported just recently is that Russia uh, in war game scenarios that the Pentagon has spoke about is planning on actually uh, dealing with uh, situation of um, uh, backing Iran in Iran's attack on Israel. Of course, Israel is also trying to get permission to, not so much permission, but trying to get America's backing of going to war with Iran uh, early. And the two sides just don't want to seem to stand down until the other pulls the trigger. Now, I have been told that officially Iran will be the first one to pull the trigger, and, and it would be done from a naval vessel. So that ought to be very interesting to see. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. By the way, we are working on a pilot program on iConnectFX.com, wherein we will broadcast uh, live from that platform there, uncensored. So there will be more videos that we'll be doing in the future. Right now they're still working uh, with this pilot program to work out all the bugs in it. So it'll probably take us a couple of weeks to get that worked out there. Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support of this broadcast at IsraeliNewsLive.org. And also, um, hopefully we'll be able to meet you here at the conference there. A little mini conference, nothing really spectacular, just a little mini conference there where we can meet some of our friends here in Orlando. And, uh, and that'll be at 5877 American Way. And don't forget, email us, IsraeliNewsLive at gmail.com. Thank you and good evening.